The Littlest Library by Poppy Alexander. This is a charming and heartwarming small town novel. And what drew me to reading this book was the setting in a small English town and the fact that the main character is a librarian. Jeff is content with their ordinary life until one day her local library closes and she loses her job as a librarian. She also has to cope with the loss of her grandma, the person who meant the world to her, other than books, of course. Jess lost her parents when she was four, and therefore she was so close with her grandma. Now alone without her beloved grandma and without her best friend, Hannah, who now lives in New Zealand, and without a job, she has no reason to stay in town. She decides to put the house on the market and drives for a while. Then she ends up in another town called Middleman. There she sees a charming, tiny, and old cottage, and her car ends up running out of gas. Now she's stuck with asking Aiden for help, the grumpy but still handsome neighbor. On the spur of the moment, she decides to purchase the house. And Jess is definitely not the spur of the moment type of person. So this is a very unusual behavior for her. At the age of 32, she gathers her courage and moves out of her grandmother's house in the hope of a new beginning. She moves to the new small town and starts fresh. It goes without saying that she picks all of her grandmother's books. She finds out that the old phone booth on her front yard actually belongs to her since it's part of the property. Hmm, what a librarian to do with an old phone booth? Of course, fill it up with books. And not just books, they're grandma's books. She upgrades the phone booth to the littlest lending library in England. It becomes pretty popular and brings the community together. With a lot of new beginnings in her life, things start to turn out for Jess. However, she is still worried that it would all come crashing down, giving all she lost in the past. You would also enjoy getting to know the people of Middlemass and warm up with this dramedy.